So this is the truffle mac and cheese. I'm really looking forward to this. It already smells good, even though I have not warmed it up yet. So this is what it looks like after I put it in the oven for 20 minutes. It has a very strong truffle smell, which is what I like. So, so far, so good. It looks decent. It smells the way I would expect it to smell. So now we're going to taste. Very creamy. This is the bite. Let me take another bite of that. This is it. This is really good. Wait a minute. Wow. That is spectacular. I'm definitely going to order this one again. Um, I highly recommend it. Like, this is like a really good portion. It tastes amazing. And I'm starting to think that maybe I should stick to more vegetarian dishes tr and try to stay away from anything with meat or too much meat because all the meat dishes that I've gotten, like the ribs, the steak, those were dry and inedible and I had to throw them away and it was such a waste of money. But all the vegetarian dishes, besides the lasagna, the lasagna does have meat. But it's like in a lasagna, it's in pasta, so it's not going to be dry and flavorless. So yeah, that's the conclusion that I've come that I've come to so far, because, I don't know, like this company, these restaurants that cook these dishes, they don't know how to season their meat, they don't know how to cook it, it's like dry, flavorless, it's just so underwhelming. But all the vegetarian dishes are very flavorful. So yeah, I, so far, I have one more meat dish that I'm going to review in a couple of days, and I'm anticipating being disappointed in that. So yeah, 